Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 51, and this is war number six. We're halfway through the season. And we're going up against an alliance called Three Realms. All right, and they were platinum two last uh, season. We are back in tier two. So let's see, who did they ban? All right, so we've got, you know, the globally banned Corvus and uh, CGR. They've banned Angela, Gore, and... Mole Man. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what they got planned for us here. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, Kate Bishop doesn't really if I remember correctly, get any armor up, so she won't benefit from the node. Um, but let's see, Lady Deathstrike does get an armor up. So that's a problem. However, I'm thinking, um, I think Gladiator could probably take her on this node. I'm thinking that because she only gets like one armor up and he would shut that down, I believe. While the defender has an active armor up, they're immune to nullify, fate, steal, stagger. stagger. Uh, armor up is active. Striking. Special lock. Okay. Yeah, I think Gladiator could probably handle that fight. And then over here, Gladiator could handle um, Red Skull. Now, that one there, the future Ant-Man, that would be interesting. Um... I want to say Gladiator could do that fight as well. It might be a little uh, dicey. But let me look at our war plan. So he's got me using Iceman, Lady Deathstrike, and Red Magneto. So Iceman against the Kate Bishop. Um, Red Magneto against that Lady Deathstrike, which definitely would work. Um, Red Magneto against Red Skull, again, that would work. And, uh, the future Ant-Man, Red Magneto again. And then for the mini, ah, got me fighting Thing, let's see. This thing right here. And he's assigned Lady Deathstrike for that fight. Yeah, she can... Um, easy access to a heal block. And let's see... Immune to power gain. So she's not immune to the placebo. Okay, well, I think that will work. So Lady Deathstrike 
Magneto. And okay, so what I will probably ask him to do is because I see Iceman is only in for that Kate Bishop, which definitely can work, but I'd rather bring Gladiator, who can also handle that fight and could probably handle these other fights. But I would like Magneto um, to handle that future Ant-Man right there. So, yeah. Magneto, Lady Deathstrike, and Gladiator. That way I also have some uh, flexibility. Uh, I already know Gladiator can take that Red Skull. And I'm pretty sure he can take that uh, Lady Deathstrike as well. But I could uh, just go ahead with Magneto. So Gladiator could do Kate Bishop, Red Skull, Magneto could do Lady Deathstrike and um, Future Ant-Man. And then Lady Deathstrike can handle that uh, thing. I'm trying to think. Is there anyone else that... Uh, I'm thinking that's a, that's a good one right there, right? Yeah. I don't think I've ever fought a thing on this node with Lady Deathstrike, but... I don't see why that would not work. I know how to fight thing. These placebo buffs. Do they do anything? You know, we got this. Let me see. Max health. Okay. Gains 100%. But yeah, what, what do the placebo buffs actually do? I don't know. I mean, you got immune to shock, bleed, armor break, uh huh, nullify, stagger, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know what the um, placebo buffs do, but okay. So let's let's go with that. All right, let's get to the fighting. Okay, so I'm going in with Gladiator, Lady Deathstrike. And Magneto. Now, all good things must come to an end. Up until this point, I have not died a single time in Alliance War. All season. But that ends today. Now, last season seemed to be a similar thing. You know, I went for half the season deathless and then bam just you know and, and it and i die in a way that just has me blinking you know like wait what just happened i was assassinated that's what happened but anyway we'll talk more when we get there first fight is going to be against kate bishop now kate bishop is not a really difficult defender if you know how to um, fighter. Don't try parrying her in the beginning. In fact, I'm not sure. I needed to test this out, but I don't know if the Vigilance could stop her evade. You know? Now, I've got my Clarity passive up, so we're good. And I don't want to deal with her special two if I can help it. Okay, her special one, I know how to evade pretty well. And then you can see here, we're just, you know, rocking it. Now, one thing I had to get used to, her, um, her uh, heavy attack, I kept dashing back twice. But you only really have to dash back once. And uh, that makes things a lot easier. A lot easier. Hold on, let me messing around with my uh camera a little bit all right now this fight here 
one of the things about Lady Deathstrike is on special attacks one and two, she will heal up most of it. And if you have certain masteries, you can actually heal up more than you actually lost. If you guys have watched me use Lady Deathstrike in Alliance War, you'll see that, you know, uh, in play where I got hit a few times, but finished the fight with a full yellow bar, you know? And then just look at this, just tearing, tearing them up. Uh, Gladiator, he's going to definitely get my um, Sig Stones until he is Sig 200. He is one that I want at Sig 200. It just makes my life much easier. Now, something else that I'm doing here, and you may notice, uh, when I am boosting, at first I was boosting with the power back boost and everything, right? But look at that. I'm only boosting with the uh, damage to the special because the main thing to do here, the boost that you really want, is the advanced power boost. So he's playing passively, but that's okay because look at this. See, now he can get an armor up at this point. So I was just waiting to fire my special uh, uh, two. Now he can't get any armor ups. Had he gotten that armor up, I would have just had to hit him into his block, remove the armor up, and uh, keep going, but we didn't need to do that this time. So the power back boost is really not necessary unless it's gonna be a very long fight and you wanna shorten it. But also I noticed that in the uh, loyalty store, they don't really like you having those power back boosts, which I can understand why they're extremely powerful. So. I'm going to avoid using them except on very special occasions. All right. So here we go. He auto blocked me. I'm like, okay, cool, cool. That was my fault. All right. Now, got my vigilance up. We should be good at this point. All right. Let's bait this out. Bait this out. Come on. Bait it out. There we go. You bait it. And look at that. Wasn't that fun? Wasn't that fun? Now watch this. Oh. Wasn't that fun? So, first, the AI recovered very fast. I have um, punished that special, I don't know how many times. I can't go any faster. And you can go back and look and see how that works. But I went to punish it, and he recovered quickly, waited for me, and then parried me. Cool. Then I went to parry him because I'm like, I can still salvage this, no problem. I go to parry him, no parry, and no block. That's what happens there. So when you see... There was no parry, and I'm just taking hits to the face. That's what happened. Because if you try to parry, and it doesn't register your input, you're left doing absolutely nothing but standing there. You're not blocking. You're not doing anything as far as the game is concerned, but standing there, waiting to get hit, which the AI will happily oblige you in. So there goes the Deathless Season. I didn't think I was going to be deathless all season by any means. Um, but that kind of tilted me a little bit. But I was like, you know what? Fine. It had me going, kabam, fix it, please. This has been going on for too long. But I was just like, whatever. Now, this fight here, um, we're going to go in with Lady Deathstrike. That's who was assigned. Uh, Lady Deathstrike has easy access to a heal block. And on this node, it has, I forgot what it's called, but 
when you stay close to them, they get regen um, stacks. You have to go away from them to have them fall off. So the thought is go in with Lady Deathstrike, heal block them, keep them heal blocked. Okay? So uh, personal space regeneration, that's what it is. All right? So let's see how this works. Um, and I was I was hopeful uh, about this fight. You can see the heel block, but here's one problem: the heel block doesn't last very long. Okay. Not only that, but like see right now, he has 15. I've got to hit him in order to heel block. Him. So. I can put the heal block on, but if I have to bait out his special like this, you know, got to wait for him to dash back and block, he's going to regen. So a lot of this is, you know, not that great. Now, if you look, it looks like I'm doing pretty well. You can see the heal block on him. Okay. And there we go. But now... I have to get him to, to block, and I've got to get him to fire a special. So look at it. He's he healing up, and he's catching me because I can't really hit him. And if the AI starts getting really aggressive, and then look at this. Okay, finally. But he's healed back up. So around this time, I could see, all right, this is probably not going to work out that well. See, I'm, I'm taking some health off of him. But look at this. Now the heal block is gone. So I have to try to keep a heal block on. Try to manage the rock stacks. Not a good look. So, yeah, look at it. See? I, had, I tried to get that heal block on him. You know? So now... He's healing back up. Look at it. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? He's healing back up. Look at that. See? I can't hit him. So, this was not a good um, matchup. We, we didn't know. You know, we wanted to try it. I've never done this fight with him. But I'll tell you right now. I would probably go with a champ that either has a very um, long heal block or can do something with the heal block. Look at this. I finished the fight, and he had a full bar of health. So I went ahead and, and told him that this did not work. I could go back in again, but I don't think this is going to work. And so someone else came in and uh, <laughs> died. And then someone else came in and finished it. So we at least had one attack bonus left. All right. So that was the last fight for me in this war. And we'll be back and you'll find out just how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. Shouldn't be a surprise at this point in time, right? Tier two, we lost. We'll probably drop down to tier three. And hopefully we'll win that one. And we'll just keep going. So let's take a look here. All right. Shout out to our uh, MVPs. But if you'll see here, um, eight attack bonus. Eight attack bonus. And two of them were me. So anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol In the fight he swift, his tactics be tight Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Prime